hi guys so here now uh, i am going to show you today uh, there is a two points so this is the report which is the idoc which this custom report this is demo report generates the idoc at runtime and send the idoc intermediate document send the details to the send uh, receiver from the like outbound to inbound so this is for inbound process and here what i did i created one custom function module for this demo this is here if we can see here we have the this is a custom function module in this custom function module i took the parameters import parameters which becomes in the at the runtime export so here i took the im input method means import input method which import the data from here mass processing here type this is the associated type this is the associated type this the, this is the structure field name mass processing for idoc, idoc processing here input method for input idoc function module mass processing so in the export parameters the parameters are very very important here in our case so here x export workflow result export application variable input update task because update when update task executes then luw logical unit of works will be triggered behind the system and call transaction for data migration i use here call transaction done type bdw fa bdw if we go to the bdw this is the parameter for application function model idoc inbound so this is the standard structure we use here for idoc if you, if you see here structure bdwf param so here parameter for workflow method for idoc inbound processing we can see here and uh, so we need to mandate put mandate report this parameter update task call transaction so data would be flow in the form of the call transaction means when we migrate the data so here we took the segments which is nothing but a collection of fields which holds the fields data from the table and sent to the sender from the uh, resource to the sender it sent the records here i uh, use a method is a call transaction not session because call transaction is much advanced the people they know already ali docs or like data migration procedures processes they will understand easily so call transaction must is much smarter than session because call transaction support both session and synchronous and asynchronous both the modes so that's why that's why i take here and this is for result flag and here in the coding in the table parameter i doc this is uh, for edidc this is a for control record we have the data record control records in the idoc this is a transparent table which contain the idoc number your status its fail or pass direct partner the receiver who is a partner like it works like a partner profile which contains your partner it is a sender system receiver system partner number receiver address receiver uh, sender port receiver port and uh, logical message if any output mode partner number of sender sender uh, sender system and here uh, a lot of things are there in the serialization here we have and uh, overriding inbound process if already one thread is running for inbound process for the idoc it will override so the latest uh, data will be updated into the will be raised to the sender so this is for generate if your idoc is going to fail you can reprocess through this report this is for a subset for all idoc status fields and in the here in the exception just i put the not call okay means if anything will come will be happen like error come into the picture system will call this note called this field and here we display our custom message if you want so here we display anything like uh, in bound i doc is failed due to system not or any custom message we can inbound i doc failed that's it we can define any custom message here and here if you go to the here we see here i just took one demo dummy table just created one custom table which contains like id name city one employee table for employee because segments we create here segments which contains the table fields work area and here the one one thing is there is a status 53 i message type 
message number and here the one thing the main thing in the report when we call to the side of into the report here we see this is the top top uh, for the global data declaration i use here like edid same same type which we have in the function module and here the segment segment we create to it contains the data uh, records from the database table or views segments this is the input field where we pass the segment and uh, this is the edidc if we double click if we go here in the edidc table transparent table control records so here we can see this field which i pass here rcv pr and parameter pr and partner number parameter for receive the partner number of the receiver port receiver port because EDI subsystem because data travels through the ports from one system to another system. This is the technical side from the IELE EDI docs with the inbound outbound process with the EWM or any process with the if you want to send the data from one server to another server or even in the same box when we transfer the data. Uh, how it works uh, partner number for sender and partner number for the receiver also. partner type partner number and here the main thing here which we get data generate i doc records this is the main this is a generation this is the main function module. master i doc distribution this function module distribute the i doc master i doc at runtime then we display i display like data into the what is the process we display the data here in the uh, through the grid, grid display in the edidc format so here uh, for an example uh, whatever we use standard extended or custom idoc so uh, this is the outbound suppose this is outbound outbound process outbound and uh, this is the sender this is a source we can call sender or source this is a receiver or inbound or we can take this as a destination okay so data travel like this from the suppose ecc to wwm or in the same in the same survey if you travel uh, but if you execute the idox then idox triggers so it travels to the port it holds the your uh, segment uh, idox holds the segment segment contains the fields so data will travel from source to destination and uh, uh, data travels to the ports. We have different port numbers. It's in detail, depth, technically side. So uh, we send the data and uh, partner profile contain the partner details, sender receiver, customer distribution model contains like your port number, customer type, part, what is the sender, what is the receiver. Then we check the status. For an example, if you send something, it's got, you got failed. You can reprocess through the standard report or standard transaction, or this is the best way best practices if you have the custom report or custom function module you can execute that you can reprocess the idoc so it will be reached successfully uh, edi with ale but the major major differences in between ale edi and idocs idoc is common for ale and edi because it's nothing but data it holds the data but idoc is a data carrier is nothing but a container but ale 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 contains or ELA we use to send the data in between two SAP to SAP system. Only if if both said we have SAP systems, two different systems like suppose you have HANA, you have BW, ECC BW Business Warehouse system, you want to send the data, then you use the ALE we use here. ALE. So suppose ECC EWM we have both side ALE we use so because ALE has capacity capability to send the transfer data in between two sap systems only but if you would like to send the data in between sap to non-sap system from sap to for an example java oracle server or like dot net or like any different third party server you must use edi with idocs yes thank you guys thanks for this one